believes their one shortcoming is that they don't have the ability to just line up and pound the football. And now Emory Jones in at quarterback. Quarterback run is always a danger with Emory Jones in the package of plays he has. He'll swing one out in the flat. Kadarius Tony bottled up. Them out of it defensively. And here's a chance for Emory Jones to come in and run that package of plays. And Dan Mullen has in his arsenal for the highest rated quarterback recruit that Mullen's ever had as a head coach. Emory Jones, he's got plenty of resume. And it is quarterback run, as you would expect. Jones to the one yard block. It'll be first in the blocking scheme. Jones, second effort, gets a push, he's in. That's a Gators touchdown. For Emory Jones. Takes a pretty good pop here by Brown. Just the ability to keep those feet moving. Cross that goal line. That's a really impressive drive by Florida, just continuing to... After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. 56 yards and six touchdowns for Kyle Trask means his work is done. How about that throw from Emory Jones? Just about found Rick Wells on the hookup date into the hands of Rick Wells. He takes a shot, too. This is a really nice play by Emory Jones. One-on-one -on -one down the field, inside fade, and he drops it right in there to Wells. Late hands, oh, that left in the slot down at the bottom. Right out that hash. Easy kick, catch, and throw. And there is a first down to Rick Wells. Now he's the highest ranked recruit at quarterback ever for Dan Mullen when Dan Mullen was a head coach recruiting quarterback. And he has a resume from high school that puts him he checks every box. He was an Elite 11 guy at offers from Ohio State, Florida State, Auburn, Alabama. Chose Florida. And I would think he would be the logical guy to take over next year. And he can do this as well. A dual threat quarterback. So you got to dedicate, prep you only get 20 hours with your kids. So you got to preparate, you got to spend time getting your team prepared for that quarterback run. It takes away from some other stuff that you might be ready for. And he stumbles for a first down here. It's a great thought. I have a question for you. That's Naquan Wright play action. It's a shot over the middle. And Amble has popped, or rather, Justin. Quarterback run. And that looks to be good enough for a first down. You know, Dan, you mentioned earlier, capable of doing. Yep. So obvious to me. As Jones lines up on first down. Floats one on the sideline, that's incomplete. Coaching that's grown is a much better now than it was 15 years ago, but that's also why you spend time with the kids, you talk to them about football, you talk seven seconds. Wow. And that becomes the mental. That two, hundred, two tenths of a second is a huge difference. There goes Henry Jones. And it's first and goal. Your arm is, if you can't think your way through progressions and know what defense you're getting and where the ball needs to go to, you're never going to be good. Emory Jones finds the end zone. A touchdown on the slant to Xavier Henderson. And the Gators north of 60 on the scoreboard. Emory Jones, watch him catch this snap. OK, hold that safety. Ball needs to go there. It's got to go high down in the red zone above Catalan to Henderson. And their next stop will be against Vanderbilt next Saturday. Games against Kentucky, LSU, Tennessee still on the board for Dan Mullen's team.